positive for marijuana, but his uh, home country of Canada appealed the decision, and he won, and he's here now to tell us all about it. Please welcome Ross Rabagliati. Well, you've had quite a week. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me where you're from in, uh, in, in Canada. I'm from uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. Uh, I've been living in Whistler for the last eight years. Now, Whistler. Now, how far away is that from Vancouver? Oh, an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Oh, big town, little town? Uh, 6,500 people. Oh, 6,500. So yeah. about... There's more tourists than, than people who live there. Yeah. yeah. What, what was it? Is it like Aspen? Is that kind of an area? Like Yeah. In the hills? You know, a little better. A yeah. little nicer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, other folks, I can imagine, you must be very proud of you. This is very exciting. I, yeah, I can only imagine how... Uh, how everyone's doing back home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're having a big parade and that whole thing? Yeah, tomorrow, uh, in 24 hours, there's going to be a parade, and apparently uh, there's going to be 20,000 people for it, and there's only 6,500 to live there, so... Oh, well, well, that's great. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, th thank you for coming here. On My your, pleasure. On, on your way home. <laughs> so let, let's, let's get to this. Now, you officially won the medal, and, and then you lost it. Did you have the medal here? Did you, did you, I do. You can you see do. it? Yeah, you can. You carry it in your pocket? Like... Yeah, it's in my pocket, in a bag. <laughs> is that the Olympic bag? This is the official Olympic sack that they gave me, so... Is that the Olympic sack? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Wow. Let me put it on. Come on. It looks like it's got a little, uh... Ooh, what happened? It got a little chip in it. Yeah, I decided that I was going to bite it like you see everybody else do, and it actually <laughs> dented the thing. Why did, you, why did you bite it? Did you think it was chocolate inside? Well, because, you know, yeah. Chocolate, <laughs> you know, almond center, maybe, I don't know. Is this the first time? Have you all, I mean, did you have it with you? Did they physically take it away? Well, explain to us what happened. Let's go back to the beginning for people who don't. Well, yeah. Um, so I, I raced. I, I won the race. Uh, I, I did the, the drug test, the pee test. Right. And um, that was good. And then just over, you know, about two days later, I got a call saying that, I tested positive. They didn't say what it was, and I was just freaked. I was just like, "Well, what the heck?" And uh, yeah. So the, to make a long story short, I went down to the Olympic Village from where we were staying to to, to see what what it was, and they told me it was uh, marijuana. And I was just like, "Holy smokes, this isn't good!" And holy smokes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you something now. Uh, I, I heard you. Now you had not smoked. I mean, was there any point? Did you say to yourself, "Uh oh, I hope I don't"? I mean, you didn't have any clue that no, not at all. No, I mean, the last time I smoked was in April of '97, and <laughs> no, no, no. I think no, I think you're being so, very honest. So you no, had smoked. I mean, I'm not here to hide anything. I mean, that's that's the facts, and I I stopped. You know, there was rules, and you got to follow the rules, and and so you know, I'm all over that, and I want to go to the Olympics, and you know, so what happened was uh, there was a four processes. We had four chances. To, to win back the medal and the first um and the third i had an opportunity to represent myself and the first one i had to go in front of 25 people from the medical commission 25 doctors from around the world um important people and uh, they were anti that it was four years since the last olympics and they wanted to bust somebody right. and um the first one was a 13 to 12 decision against me so it was 
controversial right from the first go. You know. How much marijuana did you have in your system? Well, just to put it in perspective, it, it was it was like a billionth of a gram. A billionth of a gram. Oh, Chad, yeah. how much a billionth of a gram gone for? <laughs> <laughs> not, not much. <laughs> a, no, a billionth. I mean, that, that seems almost unmeasurable. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, I guess they got these supercomputers now. Now, did they ask you where you where you where do you think you picked it up no i i told them where i picked it up no where well i mean i live in whistler and as uh you know most ski resorts have a certain culture and right. um you know I, I hang out with a lot of uh, my friends there all the time and it's an ongoing thing and um you know secondhand smoke I and mean, secondhand smoke. yeah so, so unlike clinton you inhaled but didn't smoke <laughs> he smoked but did not inhale. Right. yeah exactly yeah <laughs> Yeah. So, no, you, see, I, I, you know, I mean, I admire your honesty. You said you had smoked marijuana as a young man. You put it away because of the Olympics. I mean, so you didn't get a chance to plead your case, so they just went strictly by the, what do you call it, trace evidence? Yeah, they, they were just um, uh, hard-nosed about it. And, you know, there was conflicting rules from, from the IOC and from the FIS yeah. and, and, and so on and, and uh, um, so we lost the first decision and then it went into uh, a, another vote it was three to two another hung jury yeah. and then um, I had to go in front of another um, independent um, bunch of lawyers from three different countries that I think it's called a panel of arbitration or something like yeah. that and um, I told my story again to them and um, there was royalty in the room too Prince Samaron from France and uh, you know, he was, he was actually the head of the medical commission. He, was, he, he voted for me from the beginning. He was behind me. Um, we talked, and uh, he, he told me after that meeting to get a good night's rest. And yeah. So the next day, it went, it went back to the, uh, the med medical commission, and uh, it was supposed to be decided by 5 o'clock the next day. It was 6.30 at night at the police station, um, the Japanese police station, after seven and a half hours of interrogation, just... They wanted to find out what, what the deal was. And when I got the call in the police station, I was just like, yeah, I pulled the metal out. I hadn't seen it in like four days. It was right here. But so, you, so they didn't physically take it away from you? Technically, you, you, they were asked to. Yeah. But the, the guys from the Canadian Olympic Association, were, you know, obviously were behind me, and, and they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to. And yeah. uh, I wouldn't have given it back anyway. So. No, no, no. Because no, <laughs> yeah. no, yeah. it's not as if marijuana would enhance your performance. I mean, it's not as if, it's not like a steroid or something else and it seems to me you'd be hitting the pylons going down if you it's were not a, yeah exactly you know we had, you know zag and said that was it you know so yeah has exactly. this taught you any kind of lesson about drug use at this point? yeah absolutely i mean you know you you have a, a life to live and you and during that life you have to make decisions and and certain decisions you know are good or bad and you have to live with the consequences and i think that uh, people need to realize that you know some things you know are going to come about that you know you don't expect and and that you have to deal with that later so yeah well listen i'm glad you got it back and it, it, and you know i'm glad I, did you mind the jokes you know everybody was doing jokes about you did yeah you? i heard i heard about the guy called you ross yeah. nickel bagliotti yeah yeah that was that was funny <laughs> well listen well good i'm glad, I'm glad it worked out <laughs> ross bagliotti congratulations be right back with monica webb right after this hey that was great you come to Hi there, I'm Mark Emery of Mark Emery Direct Seeds, of course. And in this room we have the first Sensimia edition in North America of the Aussie Bushman, which won first place in the 2000 Nimbin Cup. And these are spectacular. If you look at these frosty resinous colas popping up all around me, really large, large flowering growth for just three, three and a half weeks into flowering. Imagine how they're going to look at eight weeks. They're going to be stunning. And these seeds are available from Irish Rose Seed Company at only $45 for 10 seeds. And that's spectacular for a cup winner out of Australia. It won second place in North America at our smoking test last year. And I think you're going to find this one of the most adorable sativas you can have in your home collection. And I urge you to get the Aussie Bushman from Mark Emery Direct Seeds. That's me. And uh, good gardening.